He loves to play with fire and the things he'll do. You can do if you so desire to try this at home with Mr. T. Hi, and welcome to Do Try This at Home, the show that takes ordinary household items like these copper tubes. Yeah, I can see you and turns them into something extraordinary. I'm your host, Mr. G. And I'll tell you what, today we're gonna to be messing around with an experiment that may use an item that you do not have readily available at your house, but you might, I don't know. I don't know who you are, I don't know what items you have available. But I will tell you, it's easily obtainable on the internet. This is a neodymium magnet. Actually, it's two of them stuck together as a, um, as a disc. I also have, in my other pocket here, I also have a little round um, neodymium magnet. It's like a little ball bearing magnet. Well, whoops. Those like to stick together and when they do, oh, they're hard to pull apart. Trust me, that was not a, that was not an act. Okay, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna be talking about Lenz's Law or Lenz Law and eddy currents. You can Google these and find out more about them. I could bore you with all the great details, but it'd be better just to do the experiment. To start with, I'm gonna take my larger disc magnets here and I'm going to drop them into the top of this tube. And this, this tube is about, I'd say about two and a, about two feet long. I'm gonna take and drop them in here. And then I'm gonna lift up the tube here and watch. That's how long it took for those to fall out. Let's do that again back here so you can see the whole tube. You ready? So show I'm not messing around. I'm gonna drop them in. You can hear them hitting the sides and then out they come. That's probably about three seconds later. I'm going to put the big tube down and we're going to do the little tube now with the smaller magnet, the smaller round magnet. It actually takes longer. This is a little over two feet, I'd say. Let me look. No, it's also about two feet, I'd say. And it's a smaller diameter copper pipe. And this is not magnetic, however. Copper is not magnetic. So this magnet won't stick to the pipe. Okay, let's do it from back here, then we'll do it up close. Ready? I'm going to drop it in. Still not out, it just fell out. And that one barely ever touches the walls of the pipe. In, in, out. I'll tell you what, this is an amazing experiment. And to show it to you firsthand, how the, how the magnets just float down the tube very slowly, just real slow down the tube. What I'll do is I am going to reposition the camera over the tubes so you can watch them drop through yourselves. Hi, you're back with me, Mr. G. And this is the, uh, the ball bearing or the ball bearing shaped magnet. This is the copper pipe as you can see. I'm just dangling it below the camera here and we're gonna watch this. I know that totally is amazing, isn't it? I'll bounce back out of the cup I had it catching it. Let's do that again. Okay, here we go. Now watch this. This will just blow you away, you won't believe it. Amazing, isn't it? Just totally amazing. Let's do it one more time. <laughs> it blows my mind every time I see it. You've got to try this experiment for yourself. You won't believe it. We're going to do the bigger magnet now through the bigger copper pipe. This is a much larger diameter copper pipe. Here we go. Let me get the stuff position properly. Let me try to get this in better frame. Well, that's great. Maybe, maybe not. There we go. Okay, you ready? Here we go. I'm going to bring that up to the camera a little bit closer. Okay, we're going to drop that in there. It's almost like it's, it's almost like it's, um, that's mind-boggling. It's almost like it's floating freely in, in like, in like zero gravity in space. Let's try that one more time. Again, this is not magnetic, this copper pipe. Here we go again. Isn't that just amazing? That's, that's bizarre. Truly, truly an amazing experiment. I love it. That was amazing. Copper pipe, neodymium magnets, or rare earth magnets as some people might call them. We had a study today in eddy currents and lens law. Try this at home, it's really cool. If you don't have the magnets, you can pick these up online. I got these two disc magnets for just a couple dollars. There's a lot of different places that sell them. Just do a Google search for neodymium magnets or rare earth magnets and you'll find them. 
Thanks again for watching. I'm Mr. G. See you next time on Do Try This at Home. Um, let's get started here. I'll tell you what we're going to do, um, since I'm totally unprepared and I have no clue what we're doing either. <sighs> okay, take two. Hello, and welcome back to Do Try This at Home. I'm Mr. G, your host, and today we're going to forget about ordinary household items. Hmm, I don't like the lighting here. The lighting here blows. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to get myself in frame and do this over again because I was out of frame almost the whole I'm your host, Mr. G, and thanks for watching. Do try this at home. Why don't I talk to you like this so you can see my chin move up and down, but not my face. Got a couple of pipes of copper here, copper pipes, pipes of copper. That was odd. Let's try again. I've got a couple pipes of copper, not copper pipes, but pipes of copper. Hello, and I've got a leaf in my face. Wow. Great, a spider. Everything is, what just bit me? Everything's cooperating outside today. Getting bit by spiders, tree branches are falling in my face. This is great. Hello, and welcome back to Do Try This at Home. Get off, little pug. Go away, bugs. Okay, what we're going to do today is we're going to be looking into Lenz's Law, or Lenz Law, and people that need mufflers as well. Okay, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taking a look at Lenz Law, and we're also going to be taking a look at um, eddy currents, actually all in the same time. So I'll start this over and do it right. Now let me tell you what we're going to do here. We are going to... We are going to take these, we're going to start again, down into this tube. This is the ball bearing, whoop, I'm going to drop it onto the grass and lose it, Okay. and knock the camera down while we're